Hello YouTube, Jeff here with J&B Reviews doing an unboxing of the Nook Color by Barnes & Noble. Um, this unit here has got a capacitive touch screen, Wi-Fi enabled, expandable memory, currently up to 16 gigs. Uh, supposedly at the end of March 2011, this unit will be available um, to go to the Android store, download uh, different apps, and uh, uh, the memory will be expandable up to 32 gigs. So we'll take a quick look of what we get inside the box. We've got the unit itself and a quick start guide. And then in here we have our uh, cabling. So we've got our uh, power supply here, travel style, USB port. Um, and then we've got a USB cable here for the unit to charge. All right, so that is all you get in the box itself. We'll go ahead and uh, open everything up and do a quick review in a couple seconds. All right, YouTube, so we've got the unit opened up from its uh, plastic packaging and the uh, protective screen cover that it comes shipped in. I've just plugged it into the power supply on the wall there and uh, we're starting to power up the unit here for the first time taking a quick look now it's got a uh, capacitive touch screen uh, a home button here you can also tap the screen to go to the menu button and go to the home button on it uh, on the back side here it's got a little flip door where you can put in a micro SD card to expand the memory currently to 16 gigs in the future it'll be 32 um, it is updatable the firmware on here which is great it's an Android product um, I think Barnes & Noble has gone above and beyond with this unit here it's got a great look great screen um, three hours to charge the battery uh, you get your power switch here on the side of the unit it uh, has a standard headphone jack on top and then you have your volume rockers here on the other side and then your charge sync port on the bottom you got like a lanyard uh, area here on the bottom left hand side of the unit. The uh, the screen itself it does have a uh, accelerometer in it so it'll tell you when you, when you're watching a video you can actually tilt it and the screen will, will change orientation which is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip the video and walk through some of these terms and conditions and that sort of thing. Uh, where are we at? We're here. And go through the quick setup here on the unit select our Wi-Fi and then we'll enter that information here and we'll move forward with checking the unit out here in just a couple seconds. Alright, so now we've got the uh, Wi-Fi key entered into the unit. We can actually get online with the unit. We downloaded a book. It downloaded in just seconds, literally, not even seconds. I mean, you clicked on it, it downloaded it, it's done. We can go ahead and start reading this book here. Overall, the text is pretty decent on, on here. Um, you can go right in and start reading without any real problems. Um, I like the uh, pixels in the screen. The words look great. I mean, you can easily read it. Um, I've got the brightness set pretty high. Um, you can go in and obviously lower the brightness down on the screen, and that's a pretty easy process to do there as well, depending on if you're right, reading, say, in the dark, or maybe outside, you want it as bright as possible. It does have a pretty shiny screen, so I imagine there would be some glare here when you're reading it outside. Um, but just for this, we're going to leave it at pretty high high state here so we can actually see these words a little bit easier on the video but that's pretty darn clear um, definitely easy to read in a low light situation um, to try and compare it to the iPad which again there's no comparison at all um, but just to actually look at something similar and and the uh, speed of the unit there's your words there um, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, none of that, so neither of these you can't zoom on either of them. Um, I don't know. You you read this guy. You read this guy here. This is obviously bigger and heavier. This is a lot lighter and easier to 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 maneuver with. Um, the pic the the screen looks great. The words look amazing. The overall feel of this unit is great. The size is is perfect. Um, it plays MP4 videos, it does MP3s, um, it does web searching, 
It's got some built-in games. Uh, like I say, at the end of the month, they're going to open up the Android market to this unit so that you can download all kinds of stuff, Angry Birds, what have you, whatever you feel like having on this unit. Um, definitely you can go in, obviously, and start shopping for books right away. Uh, magazines, there's a ton of free content that you can download for this guy. Um, overall, I mean, just an unbelievable unit for the price. I, I just can't get over it. And uh, doing some reading today, apparently they're thinking about releasing a 3G version of this exact unit as well in color. So when you're not near a Wi-Fi spot, you can still uh, download information. The cool thing about this guy here is it also it, it, you can download movies to it, uh, store movies on your SD card, micro SD card, and watch them on here. Uh, just an overall an impressive little unit for the money. I uh, can't can't say that enough. The the feel, the build quality is unbelievable. So uh, if you haven't picked something like this up and you're you're interested in a unit like this, I compared this to the Galaxy Tab. Uh, other than the Galaxy obviously having a faster processor, this guy here is well worth the money. It's going to do what you want it to do if you're looking for a simple e-reader with color screen, MP3, photo viewer, video viewer. Um, convert your DVDs to MP4, load it on this unit, watch your movies. Um, the screen's amazing, the clarity's great. Um, obviously, the built in speaker isn't so hot, but you know what? Um, the iPad's not stereo either. So um, it's just a great unit to, to go ahead and, and pick up for the price. Uh, that's our review of the Nook Color by Barnes & Noble. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message. Thanks for watching.